Today we're going to be tying a snake fly. It's a very effective rainbow trout lure and usually one of the first flies I would try whenever whenever I go anywhere. In the vise I've got a Hanak H200BL size 8. It's a barbless hook, very strong and has a very sharp point. The thread I'll be using is UTC Chartreuse 70. So we'll catch on just behind the eye. Trim the tag thread off because I won't be needing it. Now this is a tandem fly so it uses two hooks. So to make the rear of the hook I use some 12 pound Maxima. I pull about three or four inches of it through the eye and then start to whip the remainder remaining of it down the hook shank. Use your mono to keep the threads, the whips nice and tight and you want to run it down to just past the point. Fold your mono back over and then start to whip it back up. Trim off the remainder of the mono just below the eye just gets it out of the way for whipping it passed up and again nice tight touch and turns the whole way back up once you reach the end of your mono back down to the bottom again and because the mono has been tucked down the, the shank and turned around and brought back up. This locks it in place. It gives you a really strong link. Now, when you're at the bottom of the hook, take your zonker strip, your rabbit fur, separate the fur, giving yourself three to four inches. on to your shank. If you wet the fibres, the fur, that will help keep it out your way while you get a few turns to secure it. And get it unwhipped nice and tight. Varnish on your thread and then add a few more turns. This will just help secure everything, stop the thread from fraying after you catch a few fish. Right, bring your thread under your rabbit fur and for the rear body material. We're going to be using some neon. Neon Haggle from Chartreuse, or from Flybox. The colour is Chartreuse again, same as the thread. Catch the end of it on. Bring your thread up again and touch and turns. Stopping two or three mil away from the eye, just to give yourself enough room for finishing off. Now, Touch and turns with your neon haggle, again stroking all the fibres back. If any fibres do want to go forward of the, the haggle, just keep pulling them back and hopefully you'll be able to wrap them back with the next turn. Stopping about three mil away from your eye. Catch over a couple of times. Trim off your excess haggle. 
So again, we've got a few bits sticking forward here. It's not really a big issue. Stroke them back. Catch them down. Rear tie and thread. So now we're going to bring the rabbit fur over the top. You want to find the point in the skin where it's just at the eye. You can use the dubbing needle to separate the fibres, that'll get you a nice clean, even break. So pulling your fibres back. Use your thumb and forefinger to pull against the eye. That'll keep everything nice and tight. A few turns over the top. Wet the fibres, that'll keep the, the front of the rabbit fur out of your way. And again, a few turns over the top just to tie it down. Whip finish, I find you sort of have to do this by hand to have enough room to go over the top of the rabbit fur that's pointing forward. So, seven or eight turns. Work finish, tighten everything down. Now you trim this out of the way. So now you're ready to change for the front hook. So we'll take that out of the vise. And then I put in another heavyweight wet hook. Ideally you just want something something strong. It doesn't matter whether it's barbed or unbarbed because it's going to be trimmed off. Now you cut the barb off. So Whip down to get a nice base layer for your mono to catch. Cut it off. Take the fly that you've tied at the start, pull the rabbit fur back, and set your mono link on top. Five or six turns over the top, and that'll let you get sort of the length that you want. If you want it a wee bit longer, pull on the mono and it'll slide back a bit. If you want it a bit shorter, pull the other way, shorten the link. That should do there, that'll give us a overall fly of about four inches. So then you continue to wrap up your mono. Tight turns the whole way up. And again, three or four mil away from the top of the, from the eye. Fold your mono back. And start tying it down the other way, locking it in. Trim the remaining tag of your mono off. And wrap down to the bottom of the shank. Again, because you've locked your mono in, that's giving you a really strong link. That's you can see it's bending, pulling the hook rather than pulling out. Same as before, I take my neon haggle, catch it in at the bottom, touch and turns the whole way back up to where I'm going to finish the fly off. The skin of the rabbit fur is quite thick, so you need to leave yourself two or three mil anyway to finish your head. Bring your neon haggle up, touch and turns, stroking all your fibres back, the same as the bottom half of the fly. Haggle's quite good. I use it on a few different flies. It's really easy to use. You get plenty of movement. It's just not as bushy as standard frets. So once we reach to where we want to finish off, a couple of turns over the, 
a neon hackle just to tie it on. Trimming it off. Again, pull all your fibres back, wind down to your eye to put a base of thread on. Same as before. Separate the separate the rabbit fur. Now, when you're getting your distance for that, you want to make sure that the mono's tight and there's just a little bit of slack in the rabbit fur. If the rabbit fur is tighter than your mono, when you hook a fish, you're going to be pulling, playing the fish on the rabbit fur rather than the mono. So not too much slack that there's a big lump in the fly. Look at that. Find where you want to separate it. Five or six turns over the top. Trim the excess off nice and tight. And then use your thread to build the head up. Head belt, whip finish, just making sure none of the fibres of the neon hackle are caught in front of it. Sometimes, because they're quite long, they tend to get in below your thread and pull forward. So, half a dozen or so turns with a whip finish. Trim off your thread. Ready now for a coat of varnish. Now, so to finish the fly, I'll put the rear hook back into the vise. You'll see you've got the whole fly here, and I haven't trimmed any of the, the tail off yet. So, find the length that you want at. Again, it's all down to personal preference. Some like them quite long. I prefer mine reasonably short from the second hook down. Kind of helps prevent them nipping at the tails. And then your, at the, your hook at the front. I just want to trim it off. So I take a pair of pliers or side cutters and just cut the hook off. Here we have a white and green cat's whisker snake. Thanks for watching my video and feel free to subscribe to my channel.